Thank you. With your permission, let me just thank our people in my, uh, in our dialect for this uh, ceremony of welcome that is uh, quite, uh, quite uplifting for us when we come to, from our island and that we, uh, we see our people greeting us in the manner that is unique to Fiji. We came in the Rubo Nangonelewa and Ananda Nominati Obulingo and Koroturanga to Australia. I don't know about you. Na Vinkarabia, Miva Gadurendi, Dokai Vagalevu, Vila Betti, Tari Kims or Vagalevu, no longer may be ten in the main deity. Na wika mbale chikenda, na bunifu kwenye mbuni la bolikina, mbuni kiti kwa maestrele. Na bali uturanga na aikomisha, na lingani wau, na ndo bunifu, ni tiku kwa boka buli, tiku kwa kala kala, na ndo bunifu, na bunifu maestrele. Una sababu bali u. The Chief Minister, Australian Capital Territory (ACT) Honourable Andrew Barr, Fiji's High Commissioner to Australia. David Kolitane, Canberra Airport Head of Aviation, Michael Thompson, the Executive Manager, Global Sales and Marketing for Air Pacific, for Fiji OAS, Aquila Mbatiweti, Canberra Tourism Council, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Bulabinaka, Canberra. Thank you for the wonderful welcome and reception this afternoon. On behalf of the government and people of Fiji, it is an honor for me to announce our new service to Canberra. From 21st July, Fiji Airways will fly twice weekly flights with plans to increase to three services later in the year. When Andre, the um, Fiji EOA CEO, shared with me our plans to launch new services to Canberra, I said to myself, with delight, that this completes the mix. The connections to the major Australian centres close to Fiji, namely Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, and now Canberra making it easy for our Australian friends to visit Fiji. Honourable Chief Minister, ladies and gentlemen, we are natural partners. Australia is our largest tourism market, accounting for over half of our visa arrivals in 2022. Last year, we recovered 94% of pre-pandemic Australian visa arrivals. And by value, tourism earnings from Australia made 58.1% or $870 million, a recovery of 97.4%. In here, ladies and gentlemen, we, we benchmark our performance to 2019. That's more than any other market. Ladies and gentlemen, a little over a week ago, I joined our national airline, Fiji Airways, in welcoming the return of a Hong Kong route after three years. I had shared what it felt like on 1st December 2021, when we first opened our borders nearly two years ago and welcomed flight FJ914 arriving from Sydney, our first guest. The cabin crew was happy, returning to the skies. Ground handlers busy with the airport coming to life. The cab drivers, hoteliers, restaurants, relieved and excited to see business return. Today, we launch a new route into Australia, one that promises tourism and business a, gr a great deal of potential. 
Fiji Airways is looking at rates above pre-pandemic levels. So we are growing and the demand for Fiji, where happiness comes naturally, is stronger than, ever, than it ever was. As at 2nd April, Australian market bookings are growing at an average rate of 7% every week. Forward bookings for the next 12 months are more than 34.5% ahead of 2019. By taking delivery of two new Airbus A350s in July and August respectively, we have the opportunity for more services and seats to Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been market ready for nearly two years now, and we are more than ready to welcome another opportunity to strengthen travel between our two nations. Ladies and gentlemen, the Australian capital becomes our national airline's 22nd direct destination, connecting two vibrant cities. I would like to express my gratitude to the Canberra Airport officials and the Australian Capital Territory ACD government for welcoming us and putting together packages for Fiji Airways to commence flights and services that includes marketing and development funds to grow the route. We have a Uvalia partnership, and this bears testament. Ladies and gentlemen, you would have noticed joining us this afternoon are players and representatives from the Fijian Rua and Canberra's home team in Super Rugby Pacific, the ACD Brumbies. What better way than to see the match between the Fijian Rua and the ACD Brumbies to launch this new service? Our national airline is a sponsor of the Nrua. And as part of the promotional flight this afternoon, we have brought over fans to watch these two teams go head to head tonight at GIO Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, but that's not all. I am pleased to announce that Fiji Airways is the newest sponsor of the Brumbies. Congratulations to the Brumbies and to Fiji Airways on the new partnership. So come kick off tonight. It will be two Fiji Airways sponsored teams on the field. <laughs> Although I must declare, I'll be cheering for the Nruer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will throw the message to deliver today simply. Bula Canberra, Fiji, that's where you want to be, and it truly is. Thank you. Afternoon, everyone. Can I begin by thanking Uncle Wally for that wonderful welcome to country, to acknowledge the traditional custodians and to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. Can I welcome all of our friends from Fiji, particularly Deputy Prime Minister. That's a very hard act to follow, that, uh, that announcement. High Commissioner, uh, friends and supporters uh, of the Drua, everyone who's taken time out of their busy schedule to be here this afternoon to mark this very significant occasion. Thank you for being here. My task uh, is to tell a little of the story of how an aviation partnership comes together. And it is only possible through cooperation between governments, airports, airlines, tourism authorities. And this partnership uh, is one that's been building over a number of years, but it is wonderful to see all of that hard work come to fruition in an outcome like this and a celebration like this today. Post our COVID recovery, we have been very, very keen to restore international flights to Canberra Airport. And that Fiji Airways uh, has come forward and worked with us to achieve this is testimony to their foresight and their passion and commitment to strengthen the Australia-Fiji relationship, but importantly, to strengthen the partnership between two key cities. Now, I am certain that because Canberra lacks a beach, 
and warm weather for many months of the year, that this will be an incredibly popular service. But it's also important to acknowledge the role that Fiji Airways plays in connecting the Pacific and indeed connecting our region to North America. So whilst this will be incredibly important for Canberra tourism and for Fiji tourism, it is also important for our region. And I want to take the opportunity to acknowledge that today, that working together, we are strengthening ties between Australia and the Pacific and Fiji is playing a leading role uh, in that partnership. So thank you. To everyone who's worked on this partnership, particularly Michael, to you and your team at Canberra Airport, it's been a pleasure working with you. And to Jonathan uh, and the team at Visit Canberra, thank you for assisting in making this possible. We look forward to this being a very successful partnership, one that is already reaping benefits for our community uh, through a fantastic sponsorship announcement that you have just heard. We'll be on the plane to Fiji with Canberra businesses uh, looking for further opportunities to grow our respective economies. This is our moment, our chance to work together to achieve something fantastic for both of our communities. So thank you for being part of it. Thank you, Deputy Prime Minister, for gracing this occasion with your presence. We warmly welcome you to Canberra, even if the weather isn't quite Fiji-like in April. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And fly Fiji Airways, enjoy the experience. It's a world-class airline, and we look forward to welcoming visitors into Canberra, but also Canberrans to experience the wonders of Fiji. Thank you.